everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch and I have a new video for you. We are going to be working on a Christmas ornament. What I did was I started out with a regular styrofoam ball and I stuck it on a skewer stick just so that I could paint it. And I painted it with brown acrylic paint. That's all I did. And what we are going to want to do is poke the hole through to the other side. There is a partial hole here and we just need to get it through the other side. You can use a skewer stick, you can use like a screw and screw it in there, you can use a drill if you wanted to do it. Whatever you want to do, all you need to do is make sure you get the hole all the way through. So here it is painted and it's got the hole all the way through and that's going to be for us to do a ribbon later. And now what we're going to do is we are going to use a combination of hot glue and regular glue and use little acorn caps. So I'm going to stick this right on my skewer stick just to hold it. It's easier to work with. And I am going to take and just start adding them around here. The, I'll throw a little bit of glue around the edge. And I'll throw some hot glue in the middle. And that'll give me a nice good bond because the hot glue will bond it originally, initially and then the other glue will come down and it will help bond the rest of it. There's the first bunch and I'm gonna, gonna just keep working all around the styrofoam ball until I get it all covered. When you get this far and you have it all covered once, this is probably, depending on the size and shape of your acorns, what's going to happen. You're going to have parts that are a little bit bare. So don't sweat it. All we're going to do now is do a second layer and cover up anywhere where we see the brown. And then if we have a little bit more grouped in some places then just add more in other places whether the brown is showing or not just to kind of even it out. So I'm going to just do that now. Everything is glued into place and I did the best that I could to cover everything and I think it's pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is make sure all my hot glue strings are gone. <sighs> Seems like there's always at least one hanging around. And I am going to put this all over the entire thing. This is a really nice thick shiny coating and it will bring out the different kind of colors of these acorn caps. So I'm going to do that and then I will be back. The triple thick has dried on my little acorn cap ball and now can you see the different colors that have come out. It's a much richer look than it was before. Because here's a regular unfinished acorn cap and here it is. So it comes out with this really nice brown color. Now because this is for the holidays you can you can leave it just as it is because it is very pretty and you can finish it off with a nice ribbon or stuff like that because I'm thinking a little bit more Christmas like this would be good for Thanksgiving for sure. But for Christmas, I associate, you know, a little shimmer and a little glitter with Christmas. So I'm going to do a couple more things to it. I'm going to take this glitter spray and do a very light spray over the whole thing just to give it a little, little bit of shimmer. I've sprayed it with the little shimmery, glittery stuff and it's barely noticeable, which is what I wanted. It's there. You probably can't see it on camera. I can barely see it here. It just gives it just a little bit of shimmer. My plan for the rest of this is you can do a lot of different things on this. To decorate it, you can leave it, like I said, leave it alone, um, put a nice ribbon on there and you're good to go. Or you can add something to it, which I want to. You can do something as simple as just adding some little pearls in here, like that. You could, oops, add that around all kinds of different places, you know, to add a little bit of interest and a different look. But I'm not going to do that. I thought about glittering little wooden balls and stuff like that, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to put a small glob in a couple different places. You can do small, small globs, big globs, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to take these bugle beads and drop them right in there. And I'm going to do that in various places around the whole thing. This is what it looks like after I have all of the little bugle beads on there. I have some little hot glue things still going on, so I'll have to keep working on removing those. And now we're going to add the ribbon. 
Here I have the ribbon, and I'm going with a nice green ribbon. Not too wide. And I'm going with the green since I already have the red on here. I could have gone with red and kept it the same color. That would have been okay too. I'm going to take it on the skewer and push it through. And then I'll pull it through. And then I'll take the end and push it through again. When I know I have enough, then I'm going to put a knot at the top. And I'm going to give this a quick trim. And I'll put a knot at the bottom. Then I'll give the ribbon a little trim. So it just has these little tails and I'm cutting it on a diagonal. Once it's this far, you can either call it done, but I want to add a bow on the top. So I'm going to take the same green ribbon and I'm tying the bow around this ribbon up here. And then we'll create our bow. Once you get the ribbon just as you want it, I am going to add just a dot of hot glue. Just kind of keep it all the way it should be. Press it right there. So long as this is still coming up right in the middle. So hold it all in place. And then you just need to decide how long you want your ribbons to be. So I'm going to cut them about there. And there is your completed ornament. And if you don't want the stuff on the bottom, that's okay too. If you think the ribbon on the top is more than enough, you can trim that off. Which looking at it, I think I that is what I'm going to do. Because I double knotted this. And I'm going to trim it off real close. And then I'm going to put a little hot glue so that nothing comes apart. You could just put a little more of this red stuff on there, the bugle bees, to cover up the ends. So you won't even know that that ribbon is hiding there. So it's extra, extra secure. That was a uh, last minute design change. So here it is, all finished. Nice and festive, you worked in some nature, we've got Christmas colors, we've got a little bling in there, and I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. You guys, think of other things that would be fun to craft with that might be a little unexpected to make some Christmas ornaments with. Leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear about them. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting. It's been a rough week crafting. Yesterday I blistered my finger because I didn't use my little hot glue caps, finger caps. Um, and today I stabbed myself with a nice pick. So dangerous business is crafting.